Good afternoon everybody, this is Roller Coaster GP here, and in today's video we're looking at Valley Fair, the Cedar Fair amusement park located in Minnesota. For these reviews, I will be looking at various categories one may use to review a park and then offering my final thoughts at the end. This park is located in Shakopee? Shakopee? Shapoopy, 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 the ghost hearts again. Got it. Shakopee, Minnesota which is located southwest of Minneapolis and west of the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport and Mall of America. I highly recommend those coming to visit this park also get their visit in at Nickelodeon Universe, as this is only a half an hour from Valley Fair and close to the airport. The park location itself is pretty odd, as it appears to be alongside an industrial business park, but it is still connected to most of the major highways in the area and was pretty easy to find overall. Before we begin today's video, I would like to encourage you to subscribe subscribe and like the video at the end if you do enjoy it. Subscribers really do help the channel, especially since I just started this and it's really hard to get a good subscriber count built up. The ride ops here were very good with fairly quick dispatches. Ride ops really do help improve the atmosphere and park experience and I thought they displayed friendliness and great enthusiasm. I'm not one who thinks ride ops really need to be this way or go above and beyond, but I think it's a nice extra touch to the park experience when they do. Ride Ops and Park Staff are a lot like IT workers, generally they're only noticed when they are lackluster or things are going wrong, and that's really not fair at all, so I like to recognize those who are great. I did have an issue getting my souvenir cup to redeem off of the Cedar Fair Valley Fair app, and was told to go to dining locations on the app and no one was able to help me and I was told to go to guest services. The employee at guest services scanned it and showed that it was working and could have easily sent me back out to one of the other locations to get it redeemed again. But this employee went above and beyond and actually escorted me to one of the nearby drink stands and made sure to get a supervisor called to get it run through and approved. And that was very much appreciated and I always like those parks that have their employees go that extra distance to make sure that guests have a good experience. This park is an out and back layout. One interesting thing about the layout is that Soak City is built into the park, so some sections you will feel like you're exclusively in the water park, but really you're still in the dry park and just making your way to another section, such as the section by Renegade and the back where Excalibur is located. It is quite a hike for those who are coming here to only go to the water park, so one critique I do have for Valley Fair is to try to maybe get an exclusive entrance built directly into the water park so people don't have to walk as far. That being said, overall I think it was pretty easy to find everything within the park due to its layout. There were some issues with dead ends and corridors such as the back of the park where Excalibur and the Rapids ride are located. I did note that it was also a little hard to find Steel Venom and all the rides in that area as it's only accessible by a very narrow walkway by the entrance which I didn't even find the first time that I walked through the park. Despite those two, I think the park has a good enough layout that it's easy to find everything and I wasn't spending too much time trying to find rides or roller coasters that I was looking to get to. One thing I noticed was the abundance of coke freestyle machines which was great. It felt nice not having to walk very far to be able to refill your souvenir cup. As far as food goes it looks like there was a good variety of options which should appeal to anybody who comes here. I did only eat one meal at this park which was just a basic chicken sandwich and it was nothing special but wasn't bad either. One other thing to note is it looks like the park also had a good number of local options such as the Juicy Lucy which I know was popular in Minneapolis. Prices seemed pretty run of the mill for this park. I didn't notice anything that was expensive that I'd usually find at an amusement or theme park, but there was nothing that was cheap enough that really stood out to me either. So all in all, food and beverage, pretty good at the park. Nothing special, but nothing that I think takes away overall from the park experience. One thing I did like was that the footpaths here are really, really wide, which keeps everyone nice and spread out and really feels like you're not getting in anybody's way, especially for large groups as they're able to kind of go off to the side if needed, and that's a really nice thing overall. There is a downside to this though, and that's that I think there's a little too much path here at this park. Valley Fair can definitely use a little more greenery. Not saying that there's not any at this park, and the greenery that's here is pretty good looking overall. However, I think the park could use a little more trees, flowers, and plants to really make the park stand out a little more in the looks department. 
I also had no issues with how clean the park was. I didn't notice any messes or areas that maybe needed to be cleaned up, so that's a positive there. One last note I did have here as well was that it seemed like there was plenty of places to sit, whether you're resting or eating, and I just thought that was a nice touch by Valley Fair, especially with this being a larger park with a lot of walking. It's definitely a nice service to have all these areas to sit for their guests. Last but not least is the roller coasters of Valley Fair. Now I'll have a separate video on these going over each one of them in a little more detail, but for the purposes of this one, I'll just do a quick high level rundown of each one. Valley Fair has eight total roller coasters in its lineup and has not gotten a new roller coaster since 2007, 2011 if you count the Cosmic Coaster. Renegade is a great top tier GCI wooden roller coaster and easily my favorite roller coaster in the park. Wild Thing may be Mild Thing, but is still a great roller coaster for the public with very high ridership and looks really good in the skyline. Steel Venom is a great Intamin LIM launch coaster that provides high thrills and will always be a great addition for any park. Excalibur is a little bit bizarre of a roller coaster, but was an enjoyable experience for me overall. High Roller is a nice old wooden roller coaster and it was generally smooth. There was one part that jackhammered at the bottom of the drop and it didn't provide much airtime, but I think it serves its purpose as a milder alternative to Renegade and a different overall wooden experience. Mad Mouse had some great lateral forces on the hairpin turns and I did actually get some good airtime on some of those hills towards the end of the ride. Corkscrew was your typical corkscrew coaster, but it didn't beat me up too much, which is all you can really ask for from these rides. Unfortunately, my daughter was not with me on this day, so I did not get that cosmic coaster credit. Maybe next time I come up here, I'll bring her and I can get that without feeling like I'm some sort of creep. Looking at this lineup as a whole, I would say there's not really a bad roller coaster in this lineup, but I do think Valley Fair needs a higher quality coaster to improve its lineup. Preferably one that goes upside down. Some suggestions I have for Valley Fair if I was in management there would be a BNM invert. If you're looking for something cheaper, maybe a Gerslauer Eurofighter. If you're looking for something really cheaper, you can head to the Mall of America and steal Nickelodeon Universe's Gerslauer Eurofighter. An RMC single rail would also work here and wouldn't take up too much land. Really anything to help this park. I do think they deserve a new coaster. And at the end of the day, this is located in a market that's going to do nothing but grow over time. Overall, Valley Fair is a very good regional park that is a great destination for families and the public. Although it may be lacking a bit for us enthusiast folk, but at the end of the day, who cares about roller coaster enthusiasts anyway? The operations, park atmosphere, and upkeep are tremendous here, and I hope that Valley Fair can maintain that for the future. On the positive side, I noticed the good balance of attractions. There's a lot of good roller coasters, family rides, flat rides, kids rides, water park rides. There's something here for anybody to enjoy. The park overall was very easy to navigate and the wide footpaths offered a nice space for groups to feel like they're not running into each other, especially when the park gets a little bit crowded. And lastly, park operations and staff were very friendly and were very good at doing their jobs. Like I noted, the operations were generally fast and the operations appeared to have a lot of good enthusiasm which really helps the park experience. I also did note that earlier in my experience with the staff member, which showed that the staff here is willing to go above and beyond to help the guests experience and help their days out, which is always a good thing to have for a park. And on the improvement side, Soak City is quite the hike for guests, especially if they're only going to the water park. Perhaps Valley Fair could find a way to build an exclusive entrance to the water park that's not as much of a hike. The downside to the wide footpaths is that there's not as much greenery. And I put that as a second improvement for this park to put a little bit more flowers and plants and stuff like that to really help bring out the park's beauty. Despite the park being easy to get around, there was some dead ends in the layout, most notably the back of the park with the Rapids and Excalibur and the front of the park where Steel Venom and some of the other rides are located. And of course, to close off, the roller coaster lineup, while there's not necessarily a bad coaster in the lineup, it desperately needs an addition to help the overall lineup and really move this park up in some people's rankings. So there you have it, there's my full review of Valley Fair. Since this is my first review, this was kind of just a test run for me to see what I want to include and not include in a review. I do anticipate these reviews, Having the format changed a lot and experimented with as I continue to make more of these. This is Roller Coaster GP, and you have a great rest of your day. See you next time.